All right, hello all, and uh, welcome to the tonight's next video. Um, I'm not going to be smart about it and be like, oh, I filmed this the next day. No, it's still the same night. Um, <laughs> uh, before in the last video, we took a look at the Super 7 Will Osprey, and needless to say, as great as the Deco was, um, there were just things about it that were really disappointing. Um, actually, in between making these, I went and pulled out the Super 7 Andre. And, uh, granted, there's a lot less on Andre, so you don't notice a lot of its imperfections. Um, but, like, on the Osprey, there was, like, the unpainted hand tape. Or, like, the weird kind of splotchiness of the skin tone. Um, the bland, cheapy plastic trophy it kind of felt like a, a game board piece um the kind of way the belt should pop out more I, there's just a lot of weirdness to it you know um i didn't know what to felt i felt real conflicted on it and i kind of came to the conclusion that as great as the deco is and i get it's like a quality plastic and all that i don't know if these figures you know my conclusion was i don't know if they're going to be worth the price um the andre felt like it was um, when I went back and I was looking at the Andre, I can say, I think the Andre is worth the price. I don't know if the Osprey was, um, and I know it came with more stuff than Andre, but that Andre one just, it felt like it wasn't rushed and it was like properly made. And maybe that is a pandemic thing. Like maybe the series one of new Japan just didn't, it just kind of suffered because of that. And, but like I said, if that's the case, then I, I wish they had told us, you know, that way we could have made changes to orders or done whatever. Um, but they got to make money, you know? Um, so it is what it is. Sorry, I had to take a drink there. Um, yeah. So we're going to get into Ishii. Hopefully this one's better. Uh, that's all I can really say. Same thing. Came with a brown shipper box. Um, I still love this packaging. I'm just, I'm going to say it now. These packagings are great. Um, I'm really afraid for when I get into the Ninja Turtles and Thundercats. Because I know those came with some really cool boxes too. Um, but I can't keep them all, so. Can't get rid of them. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is. Um, for whatever reason, this New Japan series just isn't quite hitting it for me. And granted, I only opened that one. Um, yeah, but Andre was cool. Thumbs up. Osprey, I'm going to go, even though it had really cool deco and stuff, I'm going to give it kind of a thumbs down. Um, so now we're on to Ishii and kind of just go there. Um, same thing here. Back of the box. I got a giant trash bag over here. That's what you're hearing. Um, there he is. Uh, right off the bat, I'll say this. I like the head sculpts on him way more than I do the Osprey. And right off the bat, I can tell the belt on him looks a lot better than the junior heavyweight belt that was with Osprey. Um, so, so far, just in general, the Ishii looks a lot better. Um, just in the box. Obviously, we're going to open them up and find out how much of that holds up. Uh, oh, sorry. On the back. If you want to pause that. Um, so, yeah. If you're one of these people who does keep boxes, be careful when you open these from the top. They have a ten Like, Super 7 boxes have a tendency to really tear easily. It happened with my Andre. Um, and it happened with this one, too. So, if you're the type of person who wants to keep a mint box, just in case you ever pack them back up, be careful about how you open these, because they have a tendency to tear really easy on this front part. Um, just, I'm not keeping the boxes, so it doesn't bother me. But if you're the type of person that does, hey, watch out. Put that away. Uh, same backdrop as the Osprey and the Andre the Giant. Just those lights. I wish they'd kind of change that up. Maybe put, uh, the Tokyo Dome as a backdrop. That'd been cool. Um, oh, I forgot. I totally forgot about this. Osprey came with the Junior Heavyweight Trophy, the Super Junior Trophy, and a sword. Ishii comes with a chair. 
So we're gonna take a look at this first, and it just immediately broke. Um, well, I don't think it broke, but it came apart. Uh, all right, let's see if we can get this back together. So it kind of pops in at the bottom like the old jack chairs. Um, and then I'm guessing... Oh, it is a lot like the old Jax chairs. That's why it came apart so damn easy. <laughs> um, then I'm guessing that goes in. And that goes in. Oh, there you go. Sorry. I don't know if y'all could see that in the video or not. It like has crevices that goes in. It's a lot like an old Jax chair. Very much so. I would actually say this one's easier to keep together and take apart than uh, the AEW chair. That AEW chair like just fell apart like nobody's business. I don't know why. Um, there we go. We'll set that to the side over here. Um, cool. Let's get into... Hopefully nothing goes flying off the table this time. And yes, I did pick up the Osprey hands that went flying off the table. He's got uh, pretty much the same like sets of hands as Will Osprey did, like uh, open hands, the uh, uh, kind of like a slapping chop hand, pointing finger hands. So oh, that one went flying. Yes, I, I wasn't. No, no, I didn't. I ended right here. Thought it did. Um. So yeah, there's um. They're all coming with the... Did that one go flying? I think that one went flying. Um, no, it didn't. Okay. Got it right here. Um, so, they all come with the same style of hands. Just molded in a different skin tone for the wrestler. Alternate head. And twist tie. Let's get rid of that. Twist ties be damned, because I had scissors. Um, uh, that's not coming out. It's like the twist tie was still kind of like tied at the end. There we go. Okay. Let's get issue out. Um, I did, after I was done filming the Osprey video, find one other complaint. And I'm going to see if... Uh, this Ishii suffers the same complaint. Um, okay, sorry about that. I was just trying to get them all straightened out here. Okay. There we go. Sorry. I'm just trying to get them all straightened out here. Um, there's our Ishii. Uh, right off the bat, um, something the Osprey really struggled with, and I think it was just mine. Uh, remember how I was saying they're supposed to have that thigh swivel, or I thought they were supposed to have a thigh swivel, um, and he like kind of just didn't. I wasn't, I, I should clarify this, I wasn't talking about a line, like an actual thigh, like, uh, cut. I was talking about, like, where he could move at the, at the hips, basically. Um, my Osprey, like, just wouldn't move. I don't know if it was just that stiff. Um, you'll notice, like, this is a little bit of a thing here. My Ishii is not really moving like that at all. But on this leg, he is. So, that's leading me to think that it's a quality control issue. Um, so I just wanted to clarify that. Um, I didn't mean a thigh cut. I meant, like, the hip swivel thing going on. Uh, so sorry if I confuse some people with that. Um, he does have a little bit more so than the Osprey, that kind of knee pivot going at least. Um, the ankles don't move, but he does have quite a bit of range of motion in the feet. Um... 
So, yeah. Um, so far, so good. At least one leg has that swivel. Um, and then he's got the Never Open Weight Championship. Uh, I think this belt looks loads better than the Junior Heavyweight belt we got with the Osprey. This one looks much more detailed, more gold like it should be. Um, now, this is where I'm going to say I found a complaint with the Osprey. Because I'm hoping uh, this one doesn't have the same thing, but I'm going to have a feeling it does. I have a feeling that it will. Um, so here's the belt. Um, not so much with the idea. Okay, there's a couple of complaints I'm going to have about this one too, for sure. Um, anyways, they have that same thing with pegs and holes to put them in. One thing I'm noticing with these, though, that I noticed... Uh, as I was putting the Will Ospreay uh, up after the video I made, was that it's such a a thin like plastic that the belts have a hard time going. The pegs have a hard time going back into the hole. Um, it's not as bad with this one. Actually, it kind of is. Where, like, a couple of the pegs just don't want to go back in. Um, and I kind of thought, like, why is it doing that? And so the more I thought of it, the more I kind of realized these pegs are just such a, like, they're warped on the rubber. So it's harder to get them in. You have to line them up a little bit more. And even then, because they're so soft from, like, the warping, they don't always go back in the way they're supposed to. So when I was packing up the uh, Osprey to kind of put it in a storage bin, I had to kind of just leave the belt out like this. I couldn't put it in a back around his waist or get it back into the pegs. Um, luckily, it looks like the Never Open Weight Champion won't, Championship at least kind of goes back in. These two pegs are still kind of not wanting to stay in. Um, uh, but yeah, that's kind of disappointing. Um, I'm guessing that's just another quality control issue. This never open weight belt feels a lot thinner than the junior heavyweight one. I will say that like, it's much more bendy than the junior heavyweight one was. Um, but I, I think I got the pegs back in this one, the junior heavyweight one, uh, the pegs were so bent, I could not get it back in. Um, so this one actually did. Uh, so that's good. Um, it took me a little bit. As you can see, I was fidgeting with it the whole time, trying to get it to go in. Um, so that's another kind of complaint. Glad this one doesn't have that issue. Um, at least for now. Uh, but yeah, with the junior heavyweight one, that, that kind of sucked because, you know, that's an important book. And we have Ishii. So this is just a cloth t-shirt no velcro it looks like so you gotta actually remove it um to be honest i kind of don't want to i like it on them chaos stone pitbull uh that's his nickname i know kind of a weird nickname but hey it is what it is um overall so far i think this ishii is loads better than the osprey um, right off the bat, like it's the same kind of hard plastic quality that I'm, I'm much, you know, that you expect out of a super seven, but I'm glad at least one of his legs is having the swivel. Um, this one just isn't, um, and neither one of the Osprey legs wanted to turn at all. Um, so is what it is there. Um, I'm not noticing any, oh, yep, there we go. So the, um, as you'll notice, Ishii does not have any wristband tape or anything like that. And yet they still, because they use similar molds for all these guys, just in different colors. They still have a taped hand that's not painted. Why? I, I don't get that, man. Like, something so easily that could have been avoided. And it sucks because, like, that, if you want them to hold, like, a microphone or something, or the chair, this is the hand you're going to have to use if you want to pose that, and it's not painted. Now easy fix is to just paint it cool but for people who are not good at something like that you know and are really good are real diehard collectors and stuff that's going to be difficult for them um so that does suck um 
I said, I'm not going to take off the shirt. I will tell you this right now, though. Front, back. I like the, the weightlifting belt. Good detail there. Um, he does not have the splotchiness of the skin tone that the Will Ospreay had either. Um, he's got his short wrestling boots. Um, those kind of shooter boots. Uh, he does have like the really thick elbow pad, but it doesn't hinder the arm joint that much. It does hinder it going up. Like that's about as far as that's going to go up, but it's not too bad. Um, and yeah, that's the Ishii. Um, like I said, head sculpt is great on this guy. I like this one. Um, and I'll be honest with you. I think the, uh, this head sculpt's even better. The one that's not on. I might switch these out. Um, yeah, but either way, um, also he doesn't have that weird lean. My Osprey did like my Osprey was like leaning to the side when I tried to stand him. Uh, this one's good. There's the detail all over his trunks. Here you got the stone pit bull logo. Same thing on the back here. Um, overall, even though from an action figure perspective, this one's a lot better than the Osprey. The skin tone's not splotchy. Um, the hair is painted on pretty well. Um, it does have a little bit of a uh, uh, QC issue there. Quality control issue there. But nothing big. Um, the alternate head looks great too. So uh, the belt is better. I was able to get it back into the pegs on this one. Um, and he comes with a chair. Uh, so, you know, I think overall... This Ishii is a lot better than the Osprey, which I'm glad. Uh, I like Ishii. Um, would he, if I could only choose a couple of these, I wouldn't buy them. But I did buy them because I wanted that whole first set. And uh, sorry, took a drink. Um, and I'm happy I did because that Osprey was disappointing. Um, and maybe other people don't have the same issues with their Will Osprey that I had. Like I said, mine didn't. It, his leg joints did, or his hip joints did not want to move. That ball joint was not going anywhere. And when, as I tried to get it to move, it just felt like it was going to break. Um, but luckily at least one of Ishii's does this one, not so much. It does a little bit, but not a lot. Um, but this one does, and that kind of saves it, especially from a standing up perspective. He doesn't look as like messed up. Um, so that's great that the leg joints are at least better on the Ishii. Um, uh, and the skin, like they they got the splotchiness out of like the, the plastic for the skin tone. Um, his head sculpt, I think looks much more like the guy it's supposed to be than Will Ospreay's did. The belt looks more like it's supposed to be than this junior heavyweight one did. Um, my only real complaint is I don't, I think, um, yeah, still no waist movement, um, which kind of sucks. Um, and, uh, we're still on like the double, the single jointed knees and stuff. So the articulation aspect is still sadly like less than what you're going to get out of a WWE elite or an AEW unrivaled. Um, but this one overall head and shoulders is better than the Osprey. Um, even though he still suffers from that, um, uncolored hand tape thing which Ishii I don't think wears hand tape why even include that hand um but overall better it's better it's an improvement over the Osprey for sure um now big question is based on what I have showed you do you think that is still a good enough improvement for the price point 45 bucks um yes for sure, it's a much more like, you can tell it's a, probably a much more quality plastic than an AEW or WWE figure. Um, but with the less articulation and the kind of, even though the pegs went in, the little bit more janky accessories these guys are coming with. And kind of just a lot of the quality control issues on things like unpainted tape. All the negatives combined, all the cons... Going up against the pros, do you think that it is worth that $45 price point as compared to an AEW or WWE Elite at $20 um, that have 
you know, quite frankly, more articulation. Um, or even a WWE Elite, or not Elite, an Ultimate at $30 that has even more articulation. Um, you know, that's up to you to decide. I think um, on the Osprey, for sure, no. I didn't. I don't think that Osprey was worth that money. I'm going to say the Ishii, based on the higher quality plastic and everything, I'm going to go ahead and give this one an okay, a thumbs up. Um, Osprey, no. Ishii, I'm going to say yes. Um, and I think uh, there's a little bit of bias there. I'm a much bigger Ishii fan than I am an Osprey fan. So that probably plays into it. And that's another thing. Like, you know, is the per is the person they're making one you want or not? Um, that's like the other big question. So again, I'm a little conflicted. Osprey, uh, I said, no, I didn't think it was worth the price point. I like Ishii a lot more. So I'm probably going to say, yes, he was, especially now that I've, I, I can see the leg, the hip swivel kind of working the way it's supposed to be. Um, uh, so yeah, there he is. Um, Tomohiro Ishii. Uh, the man probably most associated with that never open weight championship. So that's probably why he came with it. Um, yeah, there he is. Uh, like I said, thumbs up on this one. So, so far we have thumbs down on the Osprey, thumbs up on the Ishii. Uh, you could still make an argument that maybe even Ishii is not worth that price point, but because he is one of my more liked new Japan guys, I'm going to go ahead and give it the thumbs up. Um, so yeah. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Next one we're going to look at is Okada. I'm going to save Tanahashi for last. Um, and we're going to look at the Okada. So I will catch you guys in that video.